basketball dribble. This is in technique and artistry primer level. So what techniques are we looking for for the primer level student at this beginning level? Well, we want to establish a structure in the hand. It means this tall bridge and the structure that can carry the arm weight. So we're going to have the student feel that free fall of arm weight and feel it into the structured hand. To do so, let's brace finger three with the thumb right here. And with basketball dribble, we'll drop with a full arm into each pitch. And notice I'm at a slow tempo to feel the arm weight drop. And then the second line, we'll take it in the five finger position. Maybe a little difficult because this bridge might collapse, but can we drop maintaining that support of the hand and so forth. Now, it says basketball dribble, not basketball drop. And notice we've been at a slow tempo. So what if we pick things up over subsequent weeks? What I might do in the following week is take the thumb brace away. So we have the same sound, but without the brace thumb, still maintaining the same curvature. And going faster, we can dribble the ball. In other words, we can do an arm weight and then a bounce on the repeated note. So, Notice we get two notes for the price of one. We get a drop of an arm weight and then the ripple that rebounds. This is done often in our standard repertoire as well, where we may drop in with arm weight. Notice I had two notes for the price of one, dropping in and then pulling up, dropping in, dropping, dropping. Even in chord playing, as you have your students play one, four, one, five, seven, one, we can drop into each chord and that's wonderful, but you might also try this, drop, up, drop, up, drop. So we get that little bounce. The drop of our weight carries us through two chords, not just one chord. This gives a sense of forward motion and fluency, and yet the sense of arm weight.